See, we were a little different. We liked to get as fucked up as possible during our business powwows, in order to stimulate our free-flowing ideas, which is why we were popping these lewds like they were M&Ms. See, man. We own the fucking company. We own the companies. Don't know what a lewd is? I'll tell you. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Looks like those lewds are working their magic on Donnie right now. as it is commonly referred to, was first synthesized in 1951 by an Indian doctor, that's dots not feathers, as a sedative, and was prescribed to stressed out housewives with sleep disorders. But pretty soon, someone figured out that if you resisted the urge to sleep for just 15 minutes, you got a pretty kick-ass high from it. Didn't take long for people to start abusing lewds, of course, and in 1982, the US government schedule won them along with the rest of the world, which meant there was only a finite amount of these things left. No shit, you can't even buy them anymore. You people are all shit out of luck. <laughs> what is it? Steve Madden. Steve Madden. <laughs> Steve. Steve. You remember those ads? Those giant-headed girls with the bug eyes wearing those big clunky shoes? You could My do it friend from school, Steve Madden. His friend from school, Steve Madden. Steve Madden was the name in women's shoes at the moment, and all of Wall Street was begging to take his company public. Go ahead, go ahead, whatever. Except you guess who grew up with them? Women's shoes. Women's shoes. My very own vice president. Women's shoes. Diamond Donny Azoff. Steve Madden. Steve. 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 Steve.